been a really bad boy. Come get your cup of true tea, where we spill it one cup at a time. With your host, Tyler Butler, Dick Whoopley, Amy DeMilo, Gary and Mark, special guest Jonathan Soots, and Corey Gribna. All happening right here in Ebor City's The Stone Soup Company. All right, we're spilling the tea. True tea, that is. One cup, one cup at a time. Right here in Ebor City at The Stone Soup Company. Oh, it's Once one of again. my favorite places. Uh-huh. Oh, it is definitely uh-huh. one of my favorite places. Yeah. And, and to drink, right. too. I mean, it's a good place to drink. Yes. yes. There's a variety of tea. Oh, yes. But we do miss teacup. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So Maybe we've got some new people here on the show yeah, today. Carrie hey. brought his new, brought his new boyfriend. Oh, oh. hey. <laughs> it finally happened. Yeah. <laughs> Tell our viewers who you are and you what you do here in Ebor City. Hi, I'm Corey Grivna. I live in Ebor. I have a quite boring job though. I do marketing, analytics, and finance. But on the fun side, I do stand up comedy on the side. Mm, someone's got to do it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> And we, of course, have Carrie here. They call me a comic, but I don't know why. I'm not. I'm very serious. You just look funny. I'm the judge. You might know Carrie from being around Ybor City, snapping some pics. And also, he has a great column called what, Carrie? It's called Dishing with Mark and Carrie. And so, please sign up, and you'll get lots of dish Things that you need to know and things you don't need to know, but we're going to tell you anyway. That's right. That's on and going there. And it is when you're going out. And it's right on. goes on MC Film. Dot co. That's right, right there on the bottom of your screen. And and you you got to know that if you're going out this week or this weekend, this weekend, this weekend, the place to go to find out where to go is Dishing with Mark and Carrie. That's right. Yeah. Check Everything's that in there. Out. Absolutely. Everything's there. And we got Dick here, dicking around, as Channel I always 125.com. say. Channel125.com. Channel125.com. All sporting, things gay, for I'm sure. I'm sporting my 8645 oh, t-shirt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Coming from the art of hype.com. Absolutely. And, and, I'm Tyler Butler. And what does that mean? 8645. The 69 one? Yeah, that well, was my favorite. You know. We're almost, we're this oh, close to my birthday, so bad. we'll be doing those all year long. <laughs> oh! So, does anybody know what the 8649, like, means? No. I do, but I'm 86, not saying 45. it. I'm not saying it. Oh. Okay. Just I would say, say that it's uh, something dealing in 1986. No. Oh. It, 86 is a restaurant term for getting rid of stuff. Oh, yeah. And 45 is our 45th president, Donald Trump. So we're going to 8645. There we are. And and you can get this T-shirt on theartofhype.com. Ah. And we uh, have, for the first time ever on True Tea, a Republican. We do. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Before we forget, we got to talk about oh, Amy DeMilo yeah. here. Yeah, joining us once down again. the line. Back, I yep. absolutely love it. But I'm glad we're talking about politics. Actually, you're 8469. I really admire because although it's 8645, <laughs> you're so close. Yeah. Yeah. You're I in the park. You know why? Because although I'm not for our president and I don't agree with his politics and what he stands for and believes in I do believe that we are Americans and that we should respect our president regardless and the thing to do is wait until it's election time and then cast your votes don't cast ugly statements and toll it Brushes or oh, bold brushes she's calling me that, out. I love that. <laughs> it's understated, oh, but it makes that. a statement in a, a nice way. So, and why is she calling that. you out? What did what you do? Oh, you heard Trump's toilet, toilet brush. <laughs> My Trump's toilet brush. Um, so, we <laughs> also have again with us Jonathan. Days, Jonathan Soots, Hi, Jonathan. tell our viewers who you are, what you do here in Tampa. I, he cleans toilet. <laughs> 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 Only yours, honey. <laughs> I thought um, it was on the interstate. I work in education, and I live in St. Pete with my wonderful husband, Steve. Awesome. Oh, cool. All right, let's get right to it. There's been so much going on this week, right? There oh, is. Oh, my goodness. There has been. Now, you probably heard it's not really news, but, you know, if, if you're surprised that Jeff Epstein was killed or murdered or, su- or let's put it this way committed suicide conspiracy so was he <laughs> <laughs> that was good Carrie that was very good he was so what do we what else do we know about this 
Well, it it's under intense scrutiny because there's um, like the cellmate, for example, uh, a guard would supposedly look into the cell every 30 minutes and they broke protocol and there's now an investigation over that. Um, and he supposedly had a lot of dirt on some big names. And um, our 45, speaking of 45, retweeted a conspiracy theory that Bill Clinton had Epstein assassinated. So just both sides of the aisle are kind of taking the opportunity to use the Epstein thing as a uh, way to promote their agenda. Oh. And, and you know, we have six people on the panel, and we have a seventh person walking in right now. Absolutely. He is going to bring us something to munch on. And Ooh. it's afternoon, but we're going to have some breakfast for And we've yeah. got to oh, talk goodness. about this place, because oh, people that are goodness. living underneath a rock that have no clue about the Stone Soup Company, this is what it's all about. Great, great food. Oh right here in Ebor. Number oh, one, yeah, number awesome. one, how many years in a row for the best Cuban oh, yeah. sandwiches? Yeah. Right here. And they do it several different ways. <laughs> this is a breakfast That's Cuban. A breakfast panini. Oh, yeah. I love a that. Breakfast, a breakfast yeah. panini. A yeah. Breakfast panini. Look oh, at that. that. Looks, oh, it smells that And look, it's only cut great. in two pieces. Now, that is not yeah. the cauliflower bread, is it? <laughs> no, that's not the cauliflower bread. Well, I'll have to take a bite and pass it down. Wow, what is this? Yeah, what is this, this is right? Deep fried French toast that's a table we put on about a year ago mm. that I brought to the table. Deep so. fried French, French toast. Oh, that absolutely amazing. amazing. I'm not, that's it. Oh. My mouth is watering. That's I want to lick everything. And last but not least, what else do we have here? This, this is our world famous breakfast bowl. That's a breakfast bowl. bowl. Oh. Is that for one away. person? And this is the most incredible bread. This is baked fresh daily here in Ybor okay. City. And look, bacon, oh my God, look eggs. That. That's a lot I'm putting my lot. hands all over we, so we need to get our, This even <laughs> just looks mouthwise. We need to get our day. production assistant <laughs> to go and get us some forks. Ah. If you would. Oh, cha -cha. Commercial, commercial. Don't y'all touch that until the cameras are off. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's true. Should she we take a break and come back? Let's yeah. do that. All right, do that. so, so take a break. We've got so much in, in store for today. We're going to be uh, trying some food. When you come back, we'll yep. tell you all about it. And uh, that's it, right? That's, that's good. <laughs> okay. We'll be right back after this message. Longer. Welcome to Beautiful You Boutique. Specializing in previewed fashion. Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Fendi, Prada, Michael Kors, and even Chanel. And many, many more. Fashionable wear at a fraction of the cost. This full line boutique has so much to choose from, including for women and for men. So from red carpet to everyday fashions, I choose Beautiful You Boutique, 1812 Hillview Street. Tired of the same boring selection of t-shirts? Looking for original designs and witty phrases? We've got you covered. Our Insanities and Diversities collections are full of unique shirts that you're gonna love. Check out our latest designs at channel125.com slash tees and get yours today. Hey. Welcome back. So much in the news and so much yes. in the plate right wow. here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Very good. I don't know yeah. how to start. I'm so wrong. I can do one more. Oh, oh, I can oh, eat that bread. Big the bread here so, anymore. So, Jonathan, what is the next story up here? As he takes a bite. Uh, <laughs> he's good with that, that is that really good. Oh, my gosh. Last year. He mm. likes things in his mouth. Ooh, you know it tastes good. Taste uh -huh. um, Here we go. Cut it up. Cut it up. The next thing I would say, noteworthy, okay. is Miley Cyrus of obviously is splitting up from Liam Hemsworth. Yeah. yeah. She was spotted kissing a girl, and she liked it. Oh, nice. All <laughs> right. I wonder if that was just for media, though. Could be, mm -hmm. but you know, um, she likes so many miles. of those Hollywood stars go both ways, right? Yeah, is they there do, controversy there? Really? A lot of yeah. people, not yeah. just Hollywood people. Maybe 10 years ago controversy, not 2019 right. controversy. It's nah. no longer a wrecking ball at this point. Right. She's already she's come in and out like a wrecking ball. ball. Yeah, she's done, she's <laughs> done that before. <laughs> um, I would say, too, Gaga's getting sued. I could not believe Rah, it. Ma. Who wants to sue Gaga? We love her. What's Anybody that wants for? attention, sue her. So, um... There's a million dollar lawsuit from a Beautiful. Christian, I put him in quotes, rapper named Steve Ronson saying he um, ripped off, uh, she ripped off his song Shallow uh, from his song Almost uh, for millions of dollars in court. Um, so things like tones and, you know, the, the different sounds of the music. Um, 
are supposedly a problem for him. Wow. And uh, I uh, basically, um, the two attorneys are going at it, and Gaga's attorney says that she will prevail and will not back down. I love her for that. Absolutely. She's got a lot of little monsters behind her, too. She does. She does. Good it's luck with your following. Yeah. Well, I think that story's going to disappear, and she'll settle out of court. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Almost Probably. Because The Who, I think The Who was sued years ago for the same thing, not by that guy. Well, if it's true, yeah, well, perhaps she'll settle, but if it's not, she won't. Well, I hope she fights. I would, yeah. She's yeah. definitely not one to back down. No. So what's this Equinox story that we heard about? Mm. So um, there is an owner of a group of fitness studios, SoulCycle, Blink Fitness, Equinox. Equinox um, is big in New York City. Basically, he is. Um, he raised and had a, a large Trump rally and, and a, a party or whatever celebration, raised a lot of money, and now there's a backlash of um, his employees and managers disowning him uh, breaking away from him, so like the uh, the gays are all going shirtless in West Hollywood and promoting um, their little anti um, him movement uh, to stand in solidarity to try to raise money for the other side. So if we're going to protest this and protest Chick Fil A, of course. Well, Chick Fil A is a whole other ballgame. Yeah. Oh yeah, but, but it it doesn't stop there. No. If you talk about. McDonald's and Wendy's and Publix. Oh, yeah, they endorse Trump, right, or something? They're well, you got to be careful because okay. these companies are not endorsing Trump. Oh. It's the individuals. It's yeah. the individuals, the CEOs, and the high-ranking people are donating millions and millions of dollars, which I don't understand because I can only donate... $2,500. Maybe well, Kerry can chime in on that because yeah. he probably knows a little but bit about these guys probably know. Political yeah. action yeah, packs. They can, you can, it's unlimited. And that was created back there when they said everybody, how much money can you go out and really offer to a candidate? And that's even gone to state level. So, but now with PACs, it's kind of just an organization so they could eliminate a lot of people spending and giving a lot of money that they can now go and give it anonymously a lot of times uh, from a corporation and also through individuals. Okay. And a lot of people actually contribute to both parties. Oh. They hedge their bets yeah. and it's not like they are all or nothing. So those guys are probably contributing to the Democrats also. So yeah, they, they are they probably, do. they buy both parties. Yes, they do. They have to. They do buy areas. both parties. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, that, that is interesting. That's good. He's a lot of hype, but he's really cute. He is sexy. He's on Out.com. He's one of the bartenders at uh, one of the bars in a... Uh, uh, where he's at one of the bars. Anyway, Out.com has got some great articles right now. And rallying for the trans oh. lives matter. <laughs> yes. Very good. How, what do you think about all that in the news right now, Amy? Like, there's a huge amount of... Um, Movement forward, and people are winning some suits over uh, being discriminated against. I, I, I'd love to hear your. I know we would all love to hear your opinion on. Well, it's long overdue. I mean, yeah, people see us as one way when we're actually just like they are. But um, it's hard to accept something that you really don't know. As I mean, you can see just from the gay standpoint, um, being so different than other someone changing their entire sexuality or their sex, I should say. Um, it's coming more into light. It's still like so much further we need to go and be protected. We're still discriminated against. We can still walk outside in certain areas in certain neighborhoods. We can still be beaten and killed and murdered. I see it in, on Facebook a lot. Um, a lot of our um, black trans women are murdered and unaccounted for and not even in, investigated as to why. And it's really got to stop and it's got to... Um, be made aware and there are a lot of um, actors and actresses and people that are in the uh, political or in the I don't know what I want to say what uh, in the public eye that are speaking up for transgender and I really applaud that and respect it and appreciate it so I hope more people come up with their stories and you know find us some kind of safe haven, so, safe place. And, and trans had their own parade at St. Pete They did. Right? They, well, yeah. they had it too, yeah, in New York. So right. We're standing up. It's good that we're standing up. Honestly, the trans um, community has been the strongest, in my opinion, of the gay community. I mean, they're the ones that started the Stonewall. Yeah. And so, you know, 
our communities look for us to help with fundraisers and any kind of things that we can help raise money and awareness we do so we need all those people that ask for our help to help us as well and bring us into the light and it definitely helps that corporate America is now behind LGBT. There's trends everywhere, yeah. like Playboy magazine, I believe, like the Playboy and the um, Victoria's Secret. Trans oh are being seen as like we should be. Yeah. 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 So Playboy, we'll, we'll talk about that for a minute. Okay. Playboy magazine, uh, I used to work a lot when I was running the modeling agency. You were a model? Boy. No, I, I said oh, running. Oh, oh, I was oh, not a model. Oh. That's how he got his nickname, Dick. That's <laughs> right. I was wondering if there was See, like a, knows me. an elderly, knows me. elderly area of modeling, I thought. Or was this a long time ago? You know, you're never going to be on this show again. We've <laughs> 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 been in Florida for a while. It was a while ago. When you okay, it was a while ago. ago. It was quite a, a while ago. All right. But Playboy has always been very LGBT inclusive. In fact, I would say probably half the staff there was either gay or bi, uh, and they've always promoted gay events and been very supportive. But right now, it, the person running Playboy magazine is actually gay. And last month, two months ago in the issue, they had a trans playmate. First time ever. That is incredible. Uh, and Sean, who is Shane rather, Shane, who is the new person in charge, has said we're gonna, you know, have male models and, you know, it won't just be naked women, it'll be naked women and naked men. And what about the clubs? Are they gonna be making the change too? You know, I don't think he has anything to do with the clubs. I think it's a whole different division. Okay. But that would be nice. But anyway. So are they gonna so quit? Uh, producing Playgirl. They didn't produce Playgirl. Oh, that's a whole. That's a whole different oh, okay. company. That's <laughs> a whole other company. I don't read either one of them. But I do <laughs> have a Playboy too. magazine with Marilyn Monroe on the cover. Oh, yeah. oh, oh all right, classic. But uh, a reason to actually get out and buy Playboy, first time in years. See the men. Wow, that should be interesting. Okay, so what's next? What's up next? Well, uh, lots of other things in the news other than uh, Epstein and such. I think we covered a big chunk of what I was thinking, but um, prep is possibly like we, you know, we just did an episode with Jesse. Yeah. Yes. Prep is possibly going to start being offered over the counter, and um, it would start in California, obviously because the patent um, and the developers came from California. Um, yeah. So. The uh, interesting development is that there's a lot of lobbying and uh, back and forth coming from people suing for the high cost gotcha. and the ripoff, you know, uh, scandal. Um, That's always but medicine. Prior to the show Ridiculous. here, Corey and I were talking, and you've got an interesting opinion about why you think that will never happen. And I, I, I love hearing your viewpoints. So about just, prep being OTC, right? How you think oh. it'll never be over the counter? So I don't know why people are paying so much for Travada because Gilead has the copay card. And I think it's a great setup for them right now because if you have insurance, they will do the copay for you. And it's, it is quite expensive. The people that are actually holding the bag right now are the insurance companies because after about three months of prep, for me personally, it pushes me over my maximum out of pocket. And then my insurance is free the rest of the year. And then my insurance carrier gets hosed for that, the entire balance of the year. So I don't know if Gilead is pushing Truvada being OTC. I wouldn't think they would. There is um, a carrier I used to have before I went on my uh, Stevens insurance with him through the federal uh, employee one. It's, um, I won't say the name of the company, but they drop people who, who get on Truvada. Yes. They drop, they won't even, if you even mention the word, there's uh, rumors that they'll drop you. And my insurance advisor told me, don't mention that word or you'll get dropped immediately. So I had to go through, unfortunately, grants and other options. Oh, I never had an issue. To, to get it. So it's, it's a, lo a lot of people experience different things. And what, actually, I don't even know. Any, I know what it is and what it's for, but how, how do you use it? How do you take it? For, I don't know. People might not know, but PrEP. So PrEP is, stands for pre-prophylaxis, which means pre-exposure. You have to be negative, and you have to undergo a test every quarter of the year, and it's very strict. Um, you have to take it daily, and um, you it's suggested to eat 
um, when you take it so that it's not bothering your liver and your stomach as much. It has a few side effects with your bone density and your liver. Uh, you just have to be very careful. Um, so, but they're now becoming mainstream commercials. It's and it's a preventative or it's preventative. Sexual um, transmitted. Dr. Corey, my um, physician, she's at Metro. Um, she um, says it's about a 95 percent effective yeah. rate when used properly. And again, um, there's a controversy now out too with a lot of people wanting to um, use prep without condoms and. It's um, the moral hazard issue. It is. You it take is. away one problem and then you, you create, create another, another problem. But it doesn't yeah. prevent STIs. Correct. And Florida has one of the highest rates right now of STIs yeah. in the world, much less the United States. So it's very um, – there's a lot of men who get on Grinder and all these other apps and they're saying they want to bear back and do all this stuff and it's just – it's dangerous. But it does solve the problem that you see in the TV show Pose, right, from the early 90s. It, HIV is deadly. So – it does solve that problem. All right, so we reached some time here, Dick. But guess what? Yes. Next week, we've got a fully packed show. It's incredible. Amy's got her friend mm -hmm. who she's bringing on that she's Amy got to has make friends. I know. Hey. 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 That's why I'm poor. <laughs> so she's doing a movie, and we'll leave it at that. We will. What kind of movie? Regardless if her clothes are on or uh, off, we don't sure. know. It's going to be. You don't want to miss it, I promise you. Let's raise our cups, because we're going to end it here when we're spilling the tea. One, one cup, cup at a time. time. This has been an Out and About Media production in association with Channel125.com.